I don't think that Governor Atia got nearly the credit that he deserved for shepherding Oregon through some desperately difficult economic times. I mean, I think his playbook included um, collegial work with the House and the Senate, working as well with Democrats as with Republicans, putting aside the partisan divide and appealing to everyone's inner Oregonian. He's the kind of man who was a gentleman in every respect of the word. This is also a guy tougher, tougher than nails. In the midst of his own heart attack, drove himself to the hospital and was tempted to stop for gas because the prices were going up. A really good friend, uh, one friend that really helped, helped us in a lot of ways, and he's still helping us. He's got not only one, but two committees that he serves on. We need people like that from the outside to come and tell us how we can better operate the things that we have. Governor Tia conveyed a very palpable integrity at all times and an honesty, a sense that what you saw was what you got. And I think that that engendered a great deal of respect for him. The recession, I guess, looking back, wasn't as bad in some ways as this one, but it was pretty darn bad. I credit Governor Tia with some extraordinary uh, bipartisan or nonpartisan leadership during that recession. We made uh, budget cuts. Uh, he proposed um, a sunsetted uh, income tax surcharge uh, to get us through the, the short term. He was a, a, was a significant conservationist and, and, and did a lot of work over on the Deschutes to secure uh, portions of that watershed for, for public access. And, and clearly his, uh, his uh, leadership on economic uh, diversification and opening up the, the trade robust trade relationships that we now enjoy with the Pacific Rim. Governor Tia is a man of uh, complete integrity, intellectual and moral character, uh, courage, these things that uh, we often don't value in business or society as much as we should. And uh, many, many times I've seen him get right to the heart of a practical question by cutting through uh, to the very urgent point. What is the urgent point? He's a brave man, and uh, in Oregon, uh, we were going through, in those days, in his two terms of office, a very difficult economic recovery as we are today. And I think he provided good leadership by just having good common sense. He was a bold governor. He was a compassionate government governor. He was a caring governor. He was a governor who believed in inclusiveness. Mm -hmm.